Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and we're headed back to the nether. <laughs> I, I did not get much done between the last go-around and this one, uh, other than fussing around and moving a couple of things back and forth and back and forth, and I, I still, I kind of want to, eventually I want to go back and try to redesign a little bit of this as well, because uh, I, I feel like that's just a tad out of place now. Um, I feel like I could be doing something without space there. But anyway, that, that's that's neither here nor there at this point. And I can't remember if I put on my list of things to do. Um, a blaze farm. Because I saw a plan for one that I had intended to use at some point in time. And I just, I keep forgetting about it. All right, so that's a jungle sign. Let's go ahead and get us our... Oh, I... Oh, oh no, that's right. I never get around to uh, sending everything through this order. All right. Blaze farm. Oh, plenty. <laughs> okay. Um, man, I, I can't help but notice that... Uh, this is uh this is getting bigger faster than it's getting smaller. Hmm. All right. So, let's make our way back to the Nether. Uh I'm not going out the front door because I I realized I had logged off somewhere else and flew in here in the middle of the Minecraft night and the front door is probably occupied by people who will happily mug me for whatever I happen to have on me. And I'd just as soon not do that. Uh, there we go. Alright, let's uh, back to the nether. So this is where we were last go around. It ended up being more of a planning than anything else because time, attention, focus, and energy. Uh, <laughs> still struggling on the energy front. But uh, I, I should be able to get more done. I think, yeah, I think this is where I'm going to go ahead and keep this little workstation set up. Uh, I, I tried setting them up at either end, and it just felt weird. So, except for the grindstone, that's going to stay over there, because that's really the only place that's going to be useful, is with the books and boots. Uh, <clears throat> so, I'll keep this here, and I'm going to go ahead and move all of the shulker boxes that I had in other locations uh, or around the corner because I need I realized uh, <laughs> as I was getting ready I, I need I need that space to to build so uh, all right let's get the die in the class let's get the tuft and brick and warped and crimson and the miscellaneous box of all sorts of other randomness that's the official name i'm told it's important to do stuff like that all right let's uh cover this up so no unexpected friends show up because if you don't if you didn't know that shulker boxes are a spawnable surface and uh that that's the way to get friends you didn't need or want uh <clears throat> Oh, I just realized one of my problems. It is super dark in the Nether. Uh, oh, I left all my potions over in the over in the base. So let me run back and do that while there's still nobody else watching. <laughs> while it's just me yammering on to myself, let me uh, go back to uh, back to the potion brewery. Hope that I've got some spider eyes, right? Because I want to. No, I think uh, I think I've already got night vision already ready already, and it's uh, invisibility to corrupt it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. Three, four, five. Ah. Let's grab all the ones we got. Uh, because I got the stuff to make more. 
Let's get those brewing and I'll grab an empty shulker box. Matter of fact, uh, while that's brewing, let me head up this way. Grabs. Oh, that's where I. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. I definitely need to do some trading for the. Uh, for more redstone dust. So, what I'll probably do is I will bring. Um, I will bring uh, a bunch of the zombie flesh back from from the Nether and uh, and have that set up to <laughs> to, uh, to to deal with uh, to trade with those guys for redstone dust. Um, that's what I thought. All right, let's yeah. Uh, good. And I got some more night vision in there, and I have everything I need to, uh, to brew up some more. So, alright, back to the nether. And I know the front door is clear, because that's the way I flew in. Won't be f clear for long, though. Yikes. Uh, I still gotta finish that. That that's. I don't know why I haven't gotten more work done on that. I need to get that finished. Uh, I probably need to double, double the sugar cane that's already there, and then maybe do the rest with kelp. Of course, if I do that, I need to expand out the uh, storage system, and that's also where I want to put the ink farm. But that's gonna be that's gonna be another day. Uh, oh. That's what I had all that prismine for. If you remember last tu uh, Tuesday or whenever whenever it was that I was sitting there looking at a shulker box full of prismarine going, uh, what, what did I have all that prismarine for? All that prismarine is for the, is for the for the ink farm and that's why I have the ice box so that way I can use the ice to uh, to yeah yeah words. They were almost finished. All right, let me grab two of those and I'll turn that guy into a couple of slabs so I can go ahead and get two more boxes on the end that I wasn't really planning on having. But let's get the potions parcel and the night vision and cover those guys up. Matter of fact, since I'm pretty sure that's going to stay there, let's get the blaze powder in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep... Uh, not the crafting bench. I'm going to keep some golden carrots there for the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and chug this first night vision. Uh, let's put the empty glass bottle there. Maybe that's what I had in there. I can't remember what I had in there. All right. So, now the things are a little bit brighter... Uh, I want to get a blackstone frame, and I want to go ahead and put netherite, yeah, or not netherite, <laughs> no, I'm not decorating netherite, uh, nether brick, sorry, nether brick, and get a lot of nether brick in there, so let's start by grabbing some of the cracked, some of the polished, Polished, yeah. Uh, sorry about that. The uh, the New England was kind of kicking in there for a minute. All right. Uh, I need. Ooh, that's right. I was thinking about putting some basalt in there, wouldn't I? I almost wonder if that would be better. Uh, let's uh, let's try. I got all this nether brick. I might as well use it. All right. Uh, so I need to make this look good. Maybe instead of building 
parallel with here. Let's start here. Or maybe here? No, let me start down the other side. Because I think I want to have one more space and then... Oh wait, no. We got that guy up there. I may want to redesign that to look like those. Okay, there's no may about that. I definitely want to redesign that so it looks like those. How did I do that? Oh, oh, why, why is my duplicator running? Oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's a lot of carpet. Uh. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I need to go ahead and try to, try to get the redstone for this thing worked out again. Because that, that, that's, uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> Oh my. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I might need to do that. All right. So that is some polished brick. Upside down stairs. That looks like some wall. Uh, do I have a bucket? I would have thought for sure that I had a bucket around here somewhere. No. Of course not. Do I have a bucket in my... I don't have an empty bucket in my toolbox. Um, hmm. All right. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Solved easily enough. Because what I want to do is I want to grab that lava and then start redecorating this to look like that. And go from there. Also, we, we have quite the field of mushrooms. And, and yeah... I definitely need to get them. I don't know if that's because I just happen to have been here long enough or if these guys actually grow faster in the nether. That's one of those things I keep intending to, to check out. This is finally growing all the way down. That's nice. All right, so I still need my my exit, uh, my exit strategy. And uh, go from here. Can I pick this up fast enough? Nope. That's a shame. All right. Uh. All right. What do I, I I didn't need, I I didn't even stock up on all the things I need. Oh, the brain fog. And I was promised coffee. Somebody was supposed to make some coffee. I mean, I, I would prefer that the person who promised me coffee made made some coffee, but I, at this point, I will take whoever makes coffee. I'm sending out an SOS. Some coffee in a bottle? No, wait. Uh, okay. Uh, is... <laughs> Is message in a bottle still still popular enough that you can use that as a reference these days and have people know, or is this another one of those showing your age moments, like uh, with Alice in Chains and uh, and Aerosmith and ACDC being like classic rock, where, where everybody unironic or ironically go, you know, <laughs> goes, yeah, music of the '80s is retro cool, and, and you just wanna crawl into a hole because 
That, that's not retro. It's rock and roll and I like it. Oh, <laughs> let's not fly into the fire. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, to do this the way those guys are there. Uh, nor oh wait, no, that is, that is going to be two anyway. Okay. I should be doing a, a wall there, but I don't want to leave the hopper open. And, I mean, I could, yeah, I could do it here too, but, eh. That's nah, not going to matter one way or the other. Eh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it anyway. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, f fine. It'll be fine. All right, let's get our lava back in. All right, let's uh, go ahead and start this here. Um... What did I... Oh, that's why I didn't have to worry about decorating the top. Because the... the uh, There was stuff on top of it either way. Something was always over the top of that anyway. Alright. So, what I will do here then... Uh, I'll put... I'll put my brick there, and I will go grab a button. There we go. I will also grab uh, another uh, another potion. Eight minutes doesn't last <laughs> last that long. I think I'm gonna have to make a lot more than this. All right, let's. Uh, you know what? Alright, first things first, let's make sure no unexpected guests arrive. So let's get this. Bam. Okay. Because the stairs are non-spawnable, the glass is non-spawnable. I mean, I guess I p could put a glass something or other over there too, but that, that doesn't seem right. I could cap it off with a slab too. That could work. I'd say a magma block, but then again, a magma block is also spawnable, so maybe not. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll we'll leave that like that. Um, let me go ahead and get another another trio of night vision potions going. Oh no, wherever will I get bottles of water? He didn't say for a very long time. All right. Um. Sitting here trying to figure out where did I put it? Where, where's all my extra nether wart? I had extra nether wart. Um, right there in your hand, doofus. All right. Let's get that there. Um, nope. I'll, I'll take. Yeah, I gotta get that stocked up on redstone. All right. So we got the night vision all ready to go. That's almost done. So let's toss our. Golden Carrot. Because I have a funny feeling these things are going to go quick. And what I'll do is when I grab the third one, that's when I'll make the next one. Because uh, eight minutes of pop is just not enough. And... Last one. Because that'll take it up from three minutes to eight. I kind of wish that there was a way to, uh, a way to, to, uh, to do a night vision beacon effect or something like that. Uh, this is definitely Java. Thank you for coming by. Uh, I'm trying to, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to take a relaxed day and hide, hide all my, uh, my ugly redstone. Well, I mean, it's beautiful redstone to me, but, uh. 
the, the, this is definitely one of the more fun things I've put together in a while. Uh, I will have... I need to... F I was going to surround them in Blackstone to try to make it... <laughs> To to make it uh, fit in, but I just one of the most satisfying things is to flip the switch and watch this. There goes all the gold. There goes all the stuff. <laughs> That's okay. Not a problem. And I mean, th th this is just one of those hypnotic things that that I could sit here and watch all day. There, there's three dispensers, 24 piglins, and uh, a little burnout clock there, so that way it all goes in. Uh, it's all from Logical Geek Boys Farm at that address right there. Uh, I do try to make sure that when I use other people's builds, I put, uh, I put a sign out there, so that way it's very clear. Yeah, Logical's really good. I love his tutorials, and more than anything else, I love that he takes the time to explain it. So it's not just, uh, you know, put this here, do that there, and everything's good to go. It, there is... is very logical. <laughs> so I did, of course I did that. Um, but you, you get what I'm saying. And for that matter, uh, some of the bigger guys like Nembom and Mango, they do the same, and I deeply appreciate that. Because that's how you that's how you learn about this stuff is to to have somebody go okay, so here's the deal. You need to make sure that this is a block and only a smidgen more high, so that way, and it's nice. It's just really nice to have that. I uh, yeah, and, and so that was fun. Uh, this. I gotta, I gotta relook up which video, so I can get the appropriate sign. Unless I put the, unless I put it up on the top, I might have put it back up on the top. Uh, we even went so far as to put a uh, enchanting station right outside the XP farm. And no, I did not put a sign. I need to put a sign on that. Uh, I also gotta fix that. Uh, some of my help didn't quite follow the map. Ooh, that was a harder landing than I meant. Some of my help didn't follow the uh, the math on the diagram as well. Or maybe I didn't explain it as well. Or both. Probably both. Um, and we get a few more, a uh, couple more farms down that way that I got to work on. But I need to harvest some more crimson planks for that design. Uh, nice little, nice little farm, or piglin farm. But I don't want to leave that. Yeah, uh, I think it's a Raiseworks design. I'm like 90% sure it's a Razorworks design. And, uh, yeah. Now, now, now that you mentioned that, I'm I'm pretty sure that's one of Raze. Uh, just because it's one of the really simple ones. And somebody else had put together a block-for-block a -block tutorial that puts everything together for you, which is great. Um... And he just explained how it worked and then linked over to the tutorial, which was good. I put together a different storage system than I've seen anybody else putting down, mostly because I wanted I wanted a little more space. And I didn't like the furnace setup on the demos that I saw. So I've got this guy with four furnaces and a carpet duplicator back here powering the, uh, the fuel. So we got a little bit of a reserve over here. Uh, of carpet and whatnot, and uh, I still need to. I need to. I need to rework this just a smidge, because I, I'm having a little bit of trouble with uh, getting the redstone hooked up, so that way it keeps an eye on here and starts up the carpet duplicator once once it starts noticing that it's a little low. Uh, what I may end up having to do, though, is tear down the carpet duplicator and build it out just a little bit further to give myself space. Because every time I try to work it in here, I end up running into this redstone for the uh, overflow protection. Because <laughs> the, the, the zombie flesh backs up pretty quick. 
And on the very off chance that the gold nuggets uh, back up, I've got uh, a little dropper over some fire there. Yeah, I could use. I, I thought about using lava buckets. Uh, that's one of the things that we did a while back. Uh, but I kind of wanted something that was a, a low, low friction, low friction setup. All right. And since I can't figure out why exploit doesn't show on stream the way I see it on my screen. Uh, I'm having to, like, chug all the night vision potions. <laughs> Which, that's fine, I guess. I mean, one of the nice things is, is it's not like I'm going to run out of water bottles or anything like that. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get the next one going, shall we? Uh, I do need to. I do need to stock up on my potion brewing supplies. That is something that is definitely a little, a little light. Uh, and I'm trying to. Uh, I started thinking that I was going to do blackstone up, maybe one block higher than the stairs, and then do nether brick. But now I'm wondering if I want to do blackstone, basalt, and, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, well, I, it, it's one of the never-ending things that I pick on one of the server mates about, because they will happily smelt up a thing of sand for glass, and we've got a villager trading hall, it's like, they'll, they'll trade you the glass. You, you can you don't have to worry about it they'll, they'll give you <laughs> they'll give you some and then some uh, <laughs> it'll be all right so I just I don't know how I want to how I want to do this design is one of my weaker spots uh reds <laughs> I, I do far, far better at the redstone stuff and either building machines, figuring out machines, uh, modifying them if uh, I don't like the way the way the actual build is built. But uh, this decorating stuff, that, not my forte. But it's something I need to work on. So here we go. Uh, so what I'm trying to figure out is how I want to get a little more depth in here. I need to get a lot more color. Uh, season season one, the season before last, I did a, a different design trading hall and built the whole hall out of blackstone of all the varieties. Yeah, it is a long, slow process. I, I tell you what, though, watching... Watching guys like B-dubs has really helped out. That that is that has been an absolute blessing. Uh, all right, I probably need to get together a bunch of a bunch of buttons or something. Anyway, I have not. Uh, I've heard him recommended a lot, and, and I just it's one of those. There's so many good people to watch. I am worried about stuff spawning there when I get down to that side. So I'm just going to start dropping buttons until I can figure out what's next. But, uh, I can't remember. What was Fwip on one of, one of Green's third life or something like that? Or am I thinking of somebody else? I think I'm thinking of somebody else. I, I feel... yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of somebody else now. Alright. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have to... I'll definitely have to check that out. I 
because Scar is where I got a lot of my landscaping from. And I've actually gotten okay at landscaping. It, nobody, don't hear what I'm not saying. Nobody, nobody's going to mistake it for a Scar landscaping deal. But it is definitely better than, uh, better than some of the other options that, <laughs> some of the other things that I've done. All right, let me get a stack of those, these and those and those and those. Toss that in there now, for now. So that is what I did over there, isn't it? Yeah. So do you play Java or Bedrock? Or both? Because I know a couple of guys that, that play both. I almost want to go ahead and replace that blackstone with uh, dripstone and just get a, a perennial lava bucket right there. Just because I, it's all it's all there anyway. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. No mess like a quite like a puppy mess. Oh, that's going to end up right there, isn't it? So I think... Let's get just what we want out of that one. I'll grab a couple of slabs, because I, I hate the drip, drip, drip. And I kind of like that. So I'll go ahead and... Instead of that button there, I'll go ahead and put a slab there as well. Oh, okay. Stuff is still coming down. <laughs> is that glorious? That, 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 is a, that is a glorious, glorious uh, bundle. Oh, I could watch that all day. Not today, though. Not today. Uh, let's go ahead and leave that like that since everything lines up there. So I've got stairs there, a column in line with the, with the uh, stairs. And we'll go this way and do the same. We got stairs there and a column in line with the stairs. And I'm tempted to pull this out one more block because I got one block space. I got one block space on the other side, but that's also got the grindstone there. And maybe, um, wait, where is that at? Oh, that's that awkward. Well, that's awkward. All right, let's get that there. Uh, so I almost want to kind of give this one more space here as well. Just what am I going to put there? Because something, something should be there. Something very definitely should be there. Or maybe, maybe that's where I put the, uh... Maybe that's where I put the ender chest over there. No, that should definitely stay with the workstations and all that. You know what? Random barrel is random. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's right, you guys are going to be all special. Because I broke, I broke a container. Oh no. Oh no. It's alright. They'll get their next bit of gold and everything will be shiny. Right, let me leave a button there for the moment. Oh! 
cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've run across Axonim. Uh, he, <laughs> a very interesting way that we, we kind of hooked up. Uh, but the long and short is he tends to play a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of bedrock. Although, since he joined the Impulse SV uh, server, he's uh, he's been doing some Java as well. There we go. That's why. Okay. Now this running around the corner. I almost want to do the same here too. Let's try that for a minute. Alright, and I'll go ahead and get up there. Because I think what I want to do is run across this way with these guys. Come on. Well, I just realized that uh, that is now a spawnable surface all the way across. I really ought to do something about that. Too sweet. Yeah, I, I'm kind of in the same place. For for a while, we we thought about doing. Uh, yeah, you know, we we we've tried bedrock here and there, but that was er far earlier in the uh, in the evolution of bedrock. And I mean, it's good. It's fun. It, it definitely has its ups and downs. I I wonder I wonder if they're ever going to reach feature parity between the two. And, and that is that is the big that is the big question, isn't it? All right, I think I can deal with this. What am I going to put up there? Or at least, what am I going to put up there temporarily? You know what? Let me let me go ahead and get a a bunch of slabs up there for the moment, because it it is giving me heart palpitations to know that uh, that is a spawnable space that, that that I'm just waiting for an unexpected guest. But I mean, uh, I I like that all the um yeah I I really want it to not be that I really really want it to not be that but I I fear that you are right and that it will end up being Java that uh, that gets the axe. I at least appreciate that they are working to make sure that uh, that that uh, feature feature parity is kept with updates that are happening now. So, like it, it, you know, the the mangroves and all that are coming out now, and you can you can enjoy those with without on Java and Bedrock. Uh, the big issues are ones of legacy stuff. Like, uh, like some, you know, quasi-connectivity for redstone and tile entities and how they interact with the world and all, all those differences that are artifacts of when they were two separate audiences... Uh, one, two, three. Okay, yeah. Uh, when they were two separate audiences with two very distinctly different needs and talk on it. <sighs> That's one off. <laughs> uh. 
Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it'll it'll be nice. And of course, one of the other one of the other things too is, is uh, we've got a few quality of life data packs. And, and until until Bedrock gets data packs uh, that aren't part of uh yeah I, it doesn't help that I didn't count this uh, I I'm just kind of winging it I have no idea what I really want to do other than a vague general idea of the palette all right so maybe I should fix that mistake by actually counting how much space do I have if I want to keep that at the end and that at the end yeah <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. Wait, what is it? Measure, measure, cut, swear? <laughs> yeah. I... Is it still feeding out gold? Or did I run out of gold? Yep, nope. I ran out of all the gold. Alright, let's just go ahead and get that turned off. Man, that goes through gold quick, though. I love the results, but that goes through gold quick. Oh, oh, no, oh, hang on. Not a stroke, don't worry. Night vision's wearing off. <laughs> Alright, uh, I need to throw a dot of redstone in there. Okay. So let's see, we got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Uh so thirty-three. I could do so I should be able to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, column. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, there we go. Because I needed to be able to have two columns, or three columns, not two. Uh... That last one should have worked with three, or maybe I just go uh, two column, one, two column, one, two column, one, two. Oh, bother. <laughs> well, that's not going to work. those fails just make it random <laughs> I, I've done I've done more than enough of that in the first all right because uh, that's 33 34 35 maybe that's the problem uh, mm. where's my calculator
Yeah. All right. No, that that should have uh, that should have worked. Or two, three. Two, three, four, column. There's 35 spaces, so I should be able to get five, seven times. Uh, so let's try that. One, two, three, four, column. All right. Yeah. It's off by one. Who's going to notice, right? <laughs> I mean, I could just move that over by a block. Nothing says it had to be there like that. I'd already moved it over a block anyway for the for the for the chest there to give it a little more space to breathe on the other side. Maybe I maybe I do start moving my workstations over here. Not not for any reason, <laughs> not for any convenience reason, but so the math works out. <laughs> oh, that's it. It's just gonna be off by one. That's fine. Or maybe I move this over one anyway. Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, I, I, I might just move all that over by one anyway. Uh, not sure what I'm going to put there yet, but uh, I'll put something. I'll put something. Oh, hush. I keep forgetting they get all sorts of cranky about that. times like this that I want to silence the whole lot of them. Alright. Oh. I, I can make that my uh, my entrance to the, the redstone. There we go. Problem solved. Everything's good. Yep. Totally, totally meant to do that. Alright, um... Yeah. So if that's gonna be... If that's gonna be my way into the back for the redstone... Yeah! <laughs> Because uh, that's going to be one, two, three, four, column, one, two, three, four, column. Man, eight minutes goes quick. See how many potions I end up going through by the time this is done. All right, let me get the next set going before. Uh, <laughs> of course, this is where I'm losing a lot of my time. Resetting the potions and grab 
grab a, another wand. Uh, matter of fact, where did I put that? Where did I put that barrel that got them all sorts of cranky because I broke it? Because I may, I may just go ahead and put that barrel there anyway. And then I'll need a door. Do I have a door on me? I thought I packed a door. No, I did not. Well, if we're going to go with the red, let's grab... Let's go ahead and make some of these... Uh... Oh, wait, no. I wanted to... I need to go grab some coffee. I forgot the coffee had been started. <laughs> oh, that's ready for the carrot. Get a crimson door. I'll go ahead and put that right there. There we go. Problem solved. Take that back. Uh, gonna put that in there for now. Right, that just needs a dust. Now, what am I gonna put in these frames? Uh. Kind of thinking about doing something with the magma and something else, but the the since I got the basalt columns there, the the polished basalt isn't really going to work uh, <laughs> unless I fill it in a mix of uh, I got some soul sand over here, don't I? I? Thought I did. Or is this where I try to work in some of the tuft? I think I think this is where I'll just uh, start throwing stuff down in a more random fashion. No, not outside the lines. You're not supposed to color outside the lines, or so I was told. seem to have painted myself into a corner. What's a fourth block I can put in there? Maybe not the uh, not the not the polished uh, blackstone. Yeah. Let's just put that in there for now. I hope I don't need it. <laughs> Maybe I do put in the smooth basalt and just kind of throw that in as an accent here and there. Yeah, that's different enough from the regular basalt. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. How y'all doing today? I was I was not expecting anything like that. Awesome, awesome. How's everybody doing today? Doing pretty good. <laughs> hey, how goes it? <laughs> All right, take it easy. I'm usually on uh, definitely Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, and uh, Fridays is a bit of a grab bag these days. Uh, it just depends on depends on uh, how the day, how the week's gone. <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you for the follow. I tell you what, this just this just made my day. You have no idea how much this just made my day. 
it, it's been a, it's been a rough kind of week, and uh, and that just oh, that just brightened up my day. You guys are wonderful. Now I really wish I had taken the time to get all the shout out stuff worked out. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry, because uh, I, I I do I do want to make sure that I give uh, give credit where it's due and all that good stuff. So I I take it you're Minecraft Minecrafter as well. Ah, he's a good guy. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Right now, I am trying to uh, trying to make this look less bad. <laughs> that, that's that, that that's my high and lofty goal is to look less bad. <laughs> Frog roulette. Yeah, we we haven't updated yet. Uh, we are matter of fact, we're a little uh, some some server admin <clears throat> me has been struggling a little bit to get everything up to date <laughs> or. Just because time and life and stuff. And, uh, yeah, so we're, we're just a smidge behind. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't, like, like, I, like I said, I'm just, I don't know. I'm throwing stuff together. I What I don't want to do is a solid Blackstone deal. Because uh, uh, last last time I built one of, the, one of these halls in Season 1... The whole thing was just blackstone, and I mean, it looked good in that there was a little variety between the raw and the cracked and the polished and and the brick. But um, I just wanted to do something different, and I'm not I'm not exactly liking the the mishmash. Yeah, this is the bartering setup. I, I followed uh, Logical Geek Boys setup. I got his uh, I got his uh, trading hall all set and ready to go. Twenty four piglins, all in their new little home. <laughs> the the uh, oh, this is beautiful. It's way more trading hall than I thought I'd need, but it's glorious. It is absolutely glorious. Uh, that gold farm's been doing pretty good, even if uh, the platform isn't st still isn't fixed yet. <laughs> I gotta fix that. the The math is off on the platform, and I, I'm sure I'm missing out on a few spawns. But uh, at at a certain point, I mean, it's you know, who's gonna notice? I think one of the things I am gonna do though is I'm gonna go ahead and reverse these because that that gap is that gap's kind of killing me. I do not like the gap. I thought I was gonna do. I thought this was gonna work a little bit better than, than it did. And so instead, I'll do that. Mostly, I wanted to do this in the various nether bricks, or nether blocks at least, uh, for no good reason other than that that's, that's the palette choice I wanted to set up. Nothing but nether blocks. Although, I've got Tuft in there, so I, I guess I didn't quite succeed in that challenge. Yeah. Yeah, I like that better. And I'll switch those stairs up top. Yeah, it gives it a little bit more. I mean, I guess I could actually take out the tuft and put in nether rack, but uh, uh, how would that look? Because the ne the nether brick's going to go on top, and then I'm going to decorate the gold farm the same way. So that way that you can tell that they're two two of a kind. Actually, let me uh, let's go grab some. Uh... Okay, there we go. Sp oh, 
space. Oh, come on. <laughs> I... No. No. Uh, <laughs> fine. Random items all over the place. I mean, nah, what's the clogged inventory? Let's uh let's go grab some netherrack then and replace the tough with the netherrack. Cuz again that that would keep it with the full nothing but nether blocks. But I don't know. Uh the the netherrack seems to fit a little bit better. Like I I'd almost consider getting rid of the either the soul sand or the the magma blocks. Let me grab some another rack. We'll at least plug it in there and see what it looks like. Before I do that, let me do the smart thing and put on some gold boots because uh, I know that I know the roof is safe, so I don't. I'm not a. I'm not as. A, I, I don't. I'm not as particular about making sure I've got everything squared away there as I probably should be. Um, <laughs> the, the, this is the hole through the roof down to the bottom, and I meant to do another one on this side. Matter of fact, I did do another one on this side all the way down to find out that hole is over lava. <laughs> Oops. And somewhere on the agenda, I do want to get this little temporary hidey hole set up a little bit more... Robustly isn't quite the right word, but I, I just we we got this tightly packed little room with the portal over here, and uh, and that's that's about it. I wouldn't mind having a little more space. Hello, friend. There we go. need too much of this, so let's just grab a little bit. Because again, for nether blocks, there's, you know, we know we got the blackstone and, and the and the basalt. I didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it anyway. Yeah, just a little more. There we go. Alright. Let's head back up there. No magma cream. No magma cream. I might come back and turn these into actual stairs. The, this was just something that we did because basalt was the only block we had. Well, I mean, I'm still not sure that I actually want to use the nether rack just because it's a... Uh, oh no, nothing should be spawning up there. Famous last words. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh yeah, nothing should be spawning up there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know why I do that to myself. What could possibly go wrong? It'll, it'll be all right. All right? All right? Nope, nope. Nothing could possibly happen. Everything will work just fine. <laughs> All right, let me grab a stack of that, a stack of that, and where I put the I put the polished basalt somewhere. I it just I just had it. Oh yeah. Uh, no, I don't want the tuft. Did I not have a stack of polished polished basalt? All right. Got that. I've got that. Where did... Oh, there it is. Oh, inventory. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I I do I do wish that we, we would finally get uh, an inventory... <laughs> an inventory update of some sort. That that would be really, really nice.
No. The tuft actually blends in a little bit better. I'm kind of surprised that, that that fits the... Well, uh, as much as anything can fit that eyesore. Because uh, I might be tearing that down to do something else instead. <laughs> Drinking the dyes is not going to help with the light. There we go. All right. Potion number seven. All ready. Waste some more time. I should have. I should have brewed up a uh, a whole shulker box full. I, I wasn't. I wasn't really thinking about that one. All right. Let's get the next batch of brewing. See if I can keep ahead of that. All right. That just seems a little more flat than I want. All right, let's do this, though. Let's pick up these guys and the stairs. Get the stairs facing the correct way. And then, uh, and then reassess. Oh no, whatever will I do with my pick durability? <laughs> the, those 275 levels are from one night AFK at the gold farm. Uh, that, that has been an absolutely phenomenal design. Yeah, it's great. Uh, the, the the whole reason why I needed it, why I started from zero is because I made a mistake. Um, what 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 ha happened was is I was setting up a puffer fish detector door, and the puffer fish were not cooperating. <laughs> you you want to talk about some uh, some not fun moments? Oi, I mean that was that oh. Oh, that was, that was, it was something. That was something, all right. <laughs> Words were said. <laughs> it's a, it's a good thing I wasn't streaming. <laughs> uh, it took four puffer fish and three lives <laughs> to, to get the puffer fish detector to work. Uh, all I was trying to use because the design was it was supposed to be uh, yeah I know it, it was supposed to be a very nice compact design and it was nice it is compact but uh, man getting those guys in the position you want them is, is that is no fun at all that is no fun. But I did get the door going, and, and it does work pretty well. Yeah, I did it to uh, to get access to my my bespoke storage redstone, just in case I need to head back there and and fix stuff. All right. Yeah, that does help a little bit. Yeah. I actually like the tuft in there better. I'm still not convinced that I like that design at all as a, as a whole, but uh, I need no, nah, I need I need to make an actual like pattern pattern. This is this is a no-go. The randomly randomness is not it's not working. Um, there we go. Yeah, the randomly random isn't gonna, isn't gonna work. I need I need a design. <sighs> I 
I need stuff to stop getting caught on the weirdest little ledge of <laughs> of this. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I kind of wish he could stick stairs sideways. Not like that, but like take this and rotate it uh, 90 degrees like that and get the stairs going up the side so you could actually make like an inset border of some sort. Well, I mean, I guess we'll probably get concrete slabs and stairs before we get that, but... Sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, that that might have been a little a little too salted for that. <laughs> I I would I would deeply love some concrete slabs and stairs, as would everybody else, and walls, and walls. Uh, can't forget those terracotta walls would be nice too. Crikey. Just cannot seem to do this without destroying everything. Alright. Yeah, yeah, just a smidge salty. Um, maybe, but not not quite what I was going for. I, I I would like to do, yeah, yeah, something a little closer to that. I just I, I haven't quite figured out how to make all this fit. Is I guess the the root of the problem, or maybe maybe just do consent concentric circles but then again that's not that's not an even it's a four by three space so you're not going to be able to fit too many circles in there um i almost thought about do it uh what about um What about doing diagonal stripes? Like, I'll do... Like, something like that. That way it's got a little bit more of a of pattern to it. Or do I do it as a wave up? Like, up one side, down the other, up, down, up. Down up. Oh. That, that could actually work. Uh oh. Why do I feel like I got something wrong on that one? Alright. Uh, I smell coffee. And I don't hear it brewing, so I'm going to step aside for just a minute to grab some coffee, and uh, I will be I will be right back. Let me uh, let me get the intermission up. The ever adorable Java. There we go. One of my buttons is broken.
Okay. Coffee has been had. All right. Let's uh, down that night vision and get back at it. Where Where is this set at? Oh, that's just awkward. I know, I know. I'm going to make that joke way too many times. All right. So the inverse would be... Like that. then I'll just alternate between that one and that one. And start off like a so. step back and take a look before I go too much further. Yeah, putting a little bit of order in this is definitely giving it something, a little something extra. The chaos was too chaotic. <laughs> Which is not usually my problem. Alright. So... That side is... Alright. So now I just need to do this side again. And then... Yep. There we go. I'll, I'll get this down before too long. I mean, I've only got two more panels to do, but still. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Void Staring Back. I appreciate a good witty, witty username. That's that one, and then we go like that, and that, and that, and so, and one, two, three, oh, yep, all right, still got that pattern going, nope, <laughs> nope, 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 that, that's not, I got two mixed up. At least it's only two. All right. That should be soul sand there. And that should be polished basalt there. All right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now I'm wondering if I ought to just repeat the pattern up at the top and just do the mirror image. be a bad idea. All right. But first, let's go ahead and go like this and that and these and those. Yeah, 
I, I don't like this right above the door, but uh, <laughs> I'll have to. Mm. I'll have to figure that one out. I mean, I could find something else to put there as well, and throw another stair, but then... What else would I even put there? Because the ender chest is going to stay in the middle with the workstations. That That's going to stay... that's going to stay there. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out before too long. One, two, three. Because I, I want to ditch the ladder and get a proper way up uh, in case that redstone in something. I, I still want you to be able to look down and see it through the glass. But not necessarily, like, just the the floating block of wool and redstone that we got going right there. So, let's do this. Let's... Actually, I got shears somewhere, don't I? I'm pretty sure I got shears. Yes. No, 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 seriously punny shears, but, uh, it'll do. Might make sure I don't hit something important. Okay. Okay, just checking. That that would have been uh, that would have been horrible. Yeah, because that's part of the hopper clock. That's part of the signal going out twice. Okay. All right. I am gonna go back and triple check that, and triple check it again, uh, just because. Uh, yeah. Let's get a bit of redstone going in there. One day I'll get that gamma problem solved and I won't have to use night vision so that way people can see what I'm doing in the nether. It wasn't until the last update that it changed. Although, XSplit has been bothering me about updates since... Uh, <laughs> Uh, here lately, and it's been one of those things where it's been like, uh, yes, I, I would love to install the update, but not right before I go live. Installing an update right before you li go live is how problems happen. Do you want problems? Because this is how you get problems. I was wondering where that extra, where the extra slab came from. Or where the extra slab went, because I should have had more than that. All right. Um, so what do you think? Take that pattern and flip it up one more? Like, uh, get another set of stairs going across upside down and then repeat that pattern up on top? Because remember, th this, this little, a lot of this temporary stuff is going to, all the, where the shulker boxes are, that little alcove is going to disappear. Um, I gotta, I gotta double check and see if, uh, ender chests, no, ender chests can't be spawnable, because they're, uh, I, I promise you there was supposed to be a complete sentence in there, and I'll just make a little better home for that, so that way it all fits in a little, little tighter, but that, that works. No, I had a reason for that being over. Oh, because, yeah, nothing anybody's going to notice. Pay no attention to the rambling. Alright. Uh, 
Do I want to turn this corner one further back? Like, do I want to, instead of doing that there... Oh. Jeb is trying to gently remind me that it's time for him to be fed. By gently, I mean ram <laughs> ramming into my chair and looking at me sadly. With those special eyes going, I, I am a poor starving puppy. Could you please feed me? As he breathes heavily in my, uh, yeah. Please. It has been but a mere eight hours since I was last fed. This cannot stand. Alright. Um, so where does that get me if I pull that same design out just a little bit further? I need... Oh, not the potions. Nothing's in there. I have... Oh, this door? It's because once I encase everything, uh, unlike Hermitcraft, I am actually going to build a back to this as well. And I just want a door to get me into the redstone. I forgot to do that in Season 1 when I did the trading hall, and I had to keep going back there to collect stuff and do, fix things. And uh, so what I ended up doing is just taking a, taking the old pickaxe to a couple of blocks and hoping that I hit the right spot to get back there. Uh, so, yeah, there, there is going to be a back. All of this is going to be enclosed. Um, and I just want to make sure I leave myself an actual honest access door. So I'm not going... Was it was it here that was safe to poke through, or here? I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I, I had I had more than enough of that the last go-round. And uh, I, I shall not do that this time. Alright, so if I go... One, two, three, four... And... Up. Okay, that gets me right under the hopper clock. Alright, I think I can make that work. I'm pretty sure I can make that work. Alright, um... Hmm. So what do I put there? Because that's normally where I got all the chests. Or do I put some more storage over here? Or, instead of having this set up here like I do, I could put it all under here. It's a little out of the way for everything else, but... Just a, a step further back. I'll move the potions later, or find a better home for those later. I might, I might go back to my original idea and move those back this way, and set up a potion brewer somewhere over on this side, since. This is where this is where I'm going to be getting all the uh, all the water bottles, and mostly I just want to set up something so I can brew up uh, night vision like I have. But even more importantly, finish up the um, the fire resistance potions so they get extended out a little bit more. Um, although you notice that overflow 
a lot of stuff got stuck up in overflow. This, this is really books and boots and overflow. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. There, there's plenty of that. Alright, so that is the next round ready to go. Matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll take the blaze powder out for the moment. And since I'm going to need more of the night vision anyway, I'll just keep brewing up the night vision until we run out. And that way when I move this, I won't feel like I'm wasting blaze powder. Uh, matter of fact, let me grab a water bottle. A water bottle. There we go. And <laughs> I'm probably going to do like I did the last go round and uh, set up... Just did, oh oh I just realized what I blocked off. Is that nope? That's not the trash. Um, shoot. that's it, isn't it? Yep. Hmm. Ooh. So. Do I pull out another another block to, to put it in that spot? Because there does need to be a trash. Um, that, that part definitely needs to happen. Or do I extend it out one more hopper and just bring this whole thing forward one more? Those are decisions for not right now. know why I keep opening up the box of dies. Alright, um... Let's get that going. Oh, I needed polished basalt. There we go. Too high. Oh, I need more stairs too. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and let's just make another stack of stairs. I moved it. Because I'm pretty sure that's not the only set of stairs I'm going to go through. extend that out far enough. Maybe I just do that that, that wide. Because if I bring that out, the other two blocks that it needs, that's going to put it one, two... Yeah, so that's only going to leave us... That That's going to make that a little too crowded. Alright, so I'll, I'll just... Yeah. Let's, let's just go... And then that goes there. So we're repeating the same design, but it's not it's not gonna go the full the full length. That'll be fine. I want a backdrop here, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just go with those guys, except I'm probably not going to do too much more back there. So I'll do the stairs. That way it looks good on the back and it's not spawnable on top. There we go. Yeah, that fits. That fits. Huh. 
I'm not 100% sure, but that looks like it could be progress. Alright, I still gotta figure out how I'm gonna wrap the design around that up there. But that's not a right now problem. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Put it putting a pattern definitely, definitely helped. I'm still contemplating uh, flipping it to bring it up, and then worrying about working around that and working around the redstone last. Although, blocking the trash like that kind of bothers me. <laughs> not kind of. It really bothers me. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, so I'll, I'll just block that for now. No, no. Let me leave the... I'll, I'll forget it if I don't leave myself a reminder. <laughs> uh, yeah... I don't know which is easier to work with, though. Oh, yeah, I, I could do a trapdoor. Um, I kind of wish that there was a gray trapdoor. Because I'd like to keep it something functioning with that. I mean, I guess I could also... No. I mean, I could grab another, another hopper and... Let me do this so that oh, so that way I don't uh, I don't accidentally uh, toss my toss my uh, <laughs> oh yeah a basalt trap actually a basalt trap door wouldn't be a bad idea either but I mean we we can't get them to give us uh, any of the other <laughs> any of the other trap doors and stuff uh, oh I moved it over here. Let me grab another chest, a tripwire hook, and one more hopper. I know, I know. You guys are so mad. I broke a box. Oh no, a box! Right, I'll keep that trap chest handy in a moment. Because what I might do... put that there. I don't like that that is hanging out over over the stairs. Or you know what I mean. That's, uh, nope, because <laughs> that's not going to work. Um, hmm. Maybe I will just leave. Oh, wait, no, that's not going to work either because that. There's my trash in the trash. <laughs> or, or do I just do that? And just, uh... Oh, wow, why did I put that there? I, I have no idea. 
I was trying to get a potion of uh, night vision again. I don't know, there's enough characters to fit what I really wanted to do. Trash shoot. <laughs> Trash, smugglers, princesses, and future Jedi only. You know, from back when it was a, a good, a good trilogy. Alright, somewhere... Is it in there? Alright. Hold your horses, guys. You're all about to get all sorts of mad at me. Yep. There we go. Go ahead. Get it out of your system. Because I knew I had a composter around here somewhere. Or a composter, depending on who you're talking to. There we go. I have not seen the Kenobi series. I, I've... Well, I don't have a Disney Plus login first. Uh, and I am... I'm watching some of the shows like Cord Killers... Because I'm trying to figure out if it's going to be The Mandalorian or The Book of Boba Fett. If you, uh, if you catch my drift. I, I dearly, dearly hope that it is one and not, <laughs> not the other. I'm also waiting for the boys to finish publishing all their episodes so that way I can binge it all in one shot. Because that is amazing and wonderful. And uh, I don't... <laughs> yeah, I've gotten a lot, of, a lot of mixed reviews. Some people are definitely like, Kenobi's great, but... <laughs> uh, Brian Brushwood was, uh, was all... I mean, it's good as long as you're you're like sixty percent engaged, you know. Yeah, the boys is great. I, although <laughs> I struggle to talk about that because uh, oh, uh, because I, I do try to keep this a family friendly channel, and the boys is very much not family friendly. Uh, that that is that is what's whatever the whatever word is the antithesis of family friendly. That is the boys. Yeah, I did. I did a lot of binging when COVID ran rampant through our apartment. And although it was more... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe I don't want to tear those up just yet. I'd rather not... So I I'd... Oh, because there was something over me. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe, maybe I will. But I, I remember, I remember when the season one of the boys came out. I had heard them talking about it on Cord Killers, and. I remember, I remember everybody spoke very, very highly of the series. And, and so we were all sitting around trying to figure out what to watch. Because, you know, wanted to watch something, but nobody, nobody was really sure what. And I was like, well, you know, the, the, the Cord Killers guys said that, uh, that the boys was pretty good. Do you want to go ahead and binge that? Like, all right, yeah, sure. We'll give it a try. You know, and then before you know, it, it's like, um, I mean, it's midnight. 
Uh, you, you think maybe we could do one more episode? Yeah, we could do one more episode. <laughs> and then, and then it's like, uh, okay, like it's two in the morning, but there's only one episode left. Oh, just shut up and push play, like. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's definitely, definitely the, uh, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Anti-superhero? The, the, uh, <laughs> not, not, hashtag not all superheroes. But it, it is definitely a different look at the genre and the way that all plays out. And it, it is kind of nice to get that that alternate that alternate view. Although, man, that, that gets uh, that, that gets, it gets pretty rough in spots. All right. So if I go up by one, two, three, we'll get that going across. And I think I might go ahead and get that ready to turn so that way it can go around that way. I'll come back for that one later. It, and the boys apparently started as a graphic novel series too. So if you're if you're itching for more more of that content, you don't mind grabbing a graphic novel. And I hesitate to say graphic novel as a euphemism for cartoon because or comic because in this case it really is uh, way more graphic novel than it is uh, comic. And I actually don't have the. Uh, uh, I don't get some of the hate that, uh... Yeah, comic's fine. Watch a comic. Enjoy it. Or read a comic. Enjoy it. Uh, one of the, one of the series that I've been pretty big on, The Dresden Files, uh, Jim Butcher published a couple of his short stories as graphic novels, and it definitely does justice to the name and the format. I'm gonna figure out. I'm gonna have to figure out how that all fits in there. Hmm. Yeah. All right. That, that's gonna be a tricky spot in a minute. But it is one of those things that it does benefit from from the format. What's that? Awkward. How many rockets am I going to burn trying to get from here to there? Although, I don't know why I'm burning all these rockets. We're uh, we're getting plenty of plenty of ender pearls out of here. I mean, I joke about that, but I'm still gonna I'm still gonna do an enderman farm at some point, just because just because. One, two, three, four. Pillar. I've never, I've never built uh, an Enderman farm, and I would like to. We, we have no need for the XP, because that provides more than enough XP. Especially for, for a small server like ours. I mean, we, we've got four people. Well, we, we might expand later. But right now, everything's just been way too crazy between work and life and stuff. Yeah, some some admin, <clears throat> me, uh, can't seem to keep the update train going either. Uh, I've still got to get us up to 1.18.2 and then, and then I'll get us up to 1.19. Although I do want to give 1.19 a little bit of time to, to 
for people to say, oh yeah, it definitely works. Everything's good to go. Because I have been burned by some updates before. Alright. That's the one that I can't change because we got the sticky piston. That one I can't change because we got the sticky piston. But I definitely need to put a block there at some point. So let's try to do this backwards. And I need a I need a platform to work off of. Do I have I was tempted to go grab some scaffolding, but now that I think about it, I'm not sure that I want to. Because with scaffolding, I've got to worry about um Critters spawning on my scaffolding. And I definitely don't want that. That's actually not where I wanted that. Nope. Still not where I wanted that. There we go. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Getting a coffee refill. Oh, sweet nectar. It's also going to be the stain for one of my guitar projects at some point in the very near future. <laughs> that, that's something I got to get done soon. Not for any reason other than I need to get it done soon. I was going to work on guitar stuff today, but I left my bench a hot mess. It seems that uh, workbenches seem to have this weird property by which they accumulate junk. Just spontaneously. It, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a miracle. But the wrong kind of miracle. So I've got I've got books and tools and all sorts of other things that just kind of accumulated there over the last week or so. But uh, I'll get the Les Paul finished. I'll try to do that on stream. I think I'm going to take the Samick, the Strat style guitar that I was working on, and just set that aside for now because I've got some upgrades that I want to do to it too. And I'm probably just going to wait until until those upgrades are ready, and then and then do it. All right, I'm going to switch back and forth between the camera and whatnot. All right, because I want to do this in reverse. So I'm going to start with the tuft basalt. Yeah. So we'll go tuft basalt magma soul sand. Tuft, basalt, magma, soul sand. Tuft, basalt, magma, soul sand. Yes. Then we'll go tuft, basalt, magma, soul sand. Tuft, basalt, magma, soul sand. There we go. Okay. Wait. 
Yeah. There we go. There we go. And then the other way. Uh-oh. Did I lose the stream? I'm getting uh I'm getting the weird loop of death over on my side. And it's reporting that my connection is now unstable. Even though I give Spectrum a good sum of money for it to be stable. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Did, uh, did, did my internet service fail me? Sh shall I, shall I call up, uh, Spectrum and go, you have failed me for the last time. Except I can't go, you have failed me for the last time because, uh, I don't have other choices. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I I could I could sell my soul to AT and T, but uh, that's not really a choice. That's not a choice that makes a difference. And AT and T just got in trouble recently for uh, <laughs> uh, how do I put this? Putting creative administrative fees on their bill for customers. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I'll phrase that. Creative administrative fees on the bills for their customers. Oh, yeah. It, it looks like all of a sudden Spectrum has decided to uh, be the wrong kind of special. And it's one of those things that I really wish we had proper broadband competition here in the States. Because now, now it's telling me that my, my connection quality is unstable. I mean, with the kind of money I'm paying, it should be stable. But here we are. Ow. I also kind of wish I knew what it was that suddenly changed, because uh, I don't know. It's 8.45, so it's not like, I, uh, you know, all the big downloads should be done. Is that too tall? I feel like that might be too tall. Although I... Nah, I like that. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. So I need to fill in... I just got to figure out how I'm going to dance around some of the redstone. Although, some of this, I might be able to get away with swapping out the blocks for something that's in the palette. Uh, but first... Let's do this, because now I can get this guy in the sky and go like that because that's where that's going to go and I, 
I keep turning my own head like I'm going to see around the corner or something. I pay no attention to the absent-minded be man behind the corner. What is, uh... Oh! Duh. The light that I put there. Okay, I'm like, what is stopping this from going there? That. I wanted to make sure that the redstone was lit, although I've got it excessively lit. I'll just put that there for now. I'm probably going to end up moving it again later. So that gets that column up there. Let's get... Yep. Everything's getting weird. I might, I might have to call this earlier than I wanted to. Everything about my connection is getting super special. Alright, so... Oh! No, that's right. That's not going to be on that. Uh, Alright, I'll get that in a minute. Because I forgot I need the upside down stairs first. Just, uh, yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and put the tuft and the basalt. Because I'm probably going to work out something a little bit different in a minute. Because I need to, I need to hide that redstone at some point. Alright, I got it at a decent stopping point. I do still need to... I need... Oh! Maybe that's what I can do. I can hide that as part of the stairs. Because I do need to... I do need to get my stairs back up there and that kind of thing. But, uh, given, given that the connection's gotten um, all sorts of extra special... Yeah, it, it's looking like it got better on my side, too. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, there's a part of me that wants to keep going, but on the other hand, I'm trying to keep aware of time as well. As well. Maybe I will just leave that the the random leaf block sticking out. So I need to I need to figure out I need to figure out how I'm gonna get the stairs up there. I'll wrap this around the back and figure out figure out that because I need to make sure that that stays a little different. But I'm definitely wrapping this around the back. Uh, I'm not going to burn one more potion, because all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, maybe, and maybe do the two block wide over, around, and then start heading down the other side. So, if nothing else, although that does look kind of nice in the dark too, with the, uh, with the magma glowing up. Alright, yeah. 
so I'm going to I'm going to wrap this around between now and the next time and then I'll start figuring out the stairs. So with that with that said and done given the way that uh that uh all the way with some of the weird connection stuff we got going on cuz I'm also noticing some more drops and dips. Uh I'm going to say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. I do this definitely every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern and uh, on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. It's a little bit of a toss-up uh, between guitar work, uh, Minecraft, or getting games revisited, started back up. I keep promising that. Uh, I will I will get that going again. I do enjoy it. I, I, I haven't had time for the, for the prep work to make that happen. And uh, that might be part of my priority this weekend. I, I got to get my two resource packs up to date. And I've got to get the server up to at least 1.18.2 so we can make the steps in sequence. Because I found out the hard way a long time ago that skipping, skipping updates uh, causes some weird problems. Um... All right, with all that said and done, we're going to go read Beast Lord. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Stick around for the raid.